What's up, everybody? It's Reb Zev. Hope uh, we're all having a great day. It was a beautiful day today. I just got back from uh, having a little bit of a coffee at one of the few places that was open with my daughter. And uh, I was thinking about something today that I heard someone say that uh, to like something or somebody is an is a is an emotive reaction. So, in other words, it's it's a reaction based on emotions. And to love is a commitment. It's a deep commitment, and um, that's why, actually, you know, love is extremely powerful. But also, why like is powerful as well, because we make so many decisions based on our emotions, that if we can learn to uh, be more aware of our emotions and what's going on and what's causing them and why, then, (laughs) it's my son, then we will make better decisions. That's why even back before in the beginning of Hanukkah, I said we need eight days of like, L-A-K-E, or eight nights of like, and eight days of kindness. Because if we have more awareness of what we like or why we like or don't like something, we have more awareness, we're not reacting, we're not making, um, you know, snap decisions, then we're actually going to be able to use the power of like, which will motivate us to the to the deep commitment of love, which we all need for ourselves and for other people. Sometimes, though, it's, you know, like with family members, for instance, I have a brother, and I recently just said to him, you know, I don't like you. And I don't really know if he likes me either. He's my older brother, and we don't, get along well for a lot of reasons, and I'm working on it, and I know he's doing his best too, but we have some differences that are just very strong. Um, But, you know, I still love my brother. So that's why I'm saying to you that, you know, with family or with your spouse, you know you're committed to loving them, hopefully, God willing. You have that commitment. But coming up a little more and saying, well, why don't I like them? Or what's what are the reasons? Why am I reacting? Why am I doing this or that? You'd be surprised how that's going to illuminate your, your being a little more, make you more aware. And so there again, tying into Hanukkah, eight nights of like, eight days of kindness, You want to be more illuminated? Ask Hashem why you like or don't like something or somebody. And you're going to learn some things. I know it's something I'm working on, guys. I'll try never to to, uh, do things that or say things that I'm not probably working through myself. That's one of the reasons it comes from the heart so easily. And earlier you saw some light behind me, some extra light. That's my son. Uh, And today, or, you know, starting tonight, uh, is my son's birthday, the fourth candle. My son was born, was a Shabbat, actually. It was the Shabbat of Hanukkah that year. On the fourth candle, 28 Kislev. So I'm home now. I'm going to go light my Hanukkiot and uh, we're going to have some special food in honor of my son and then we're going to be traveling for the rest of the holiday so probably the next video I make could very well be in an airport or an airplane so we'll see what happens guys I just want to give him a little bit of a screenshot, but oh, see the sun—he's made the my son has made the sun appear. 
you, you can't. Oh, wait. All you can oh, see is his hello. hat. Uh, <laughs> there he is. Okay, this video is getting out of hand. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Have a beautiful Hanukkah. Chag Hanukkah Sameach. Only the best, guys. Only the Be best. Happy. Be happy, as my son just said. And I hope that no matter what you're doing today, what you're celebrating, I hope that it's just full of love and increased like. <laughs> Bye, guys.